Ik ben best goed. Find some weapons more quickly by tapping left mouse. Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did, but I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine, you didn't forward it, so who did? I did. Was this supposed to be a favor, or did you just want to see him squirm? What he did with it was his own business. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison. It doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on, we've got work to do. I commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Let's check if uh, Hero Clara is there. Hello. Fane would like to speak with you, Commander. And that's it. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? Garrus received some news that put fire in his eyes. Maybe you should speak with him down in the main battery. Tally seems very distraught after receiving a message. Maybe you could check in on her down in engineering. Thane would like to see you down in life support on the crew deck. Samara would like to see you in observation on the crew deck. Grunt seems very anxious, pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, you can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Anything else you'd like to talk about? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. 
Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Yeah. This. Memory messages. Okay. Uh. Even hier praat wat iedereen uh, normaal ook is. Dus dit is dan weer echt zo'n crew talk session. charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. Okay, let's have a dot. Hier is niet echt iets. Oké, okay, kijk. Is hier nog iets? I need to get to Pragia, Shepard. Soon. I'll think about that. Meanwhile, I have to go. Yep. Oké. Okay. Zij moet daar nou nog altijd naartoe. En het poort cargo is hier. Hallo, Grant. Chambers zei je tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something. Wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong. Tense. I just want to kill something. With my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to... I don't know. See? Why do that? What's wrong? Pure Krogan probably starts more aggressive than most. I'm not seeing this as a particularly big shit. Doesn't matter if it's normal. I'm not. I'm not used to this. This noise. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus. But here, my blood screams, my plates itch. And even you are just noise. I'm tank born. What is this? Edie, anything in your files about Krogan diseases that could cause this? Cerberus has a number of autopsies on file, but nothing on a living Krogan of this age and situation. Krogan are reluctant to share medical records. My people were defeated by doctors and labs. They will never let stuff like that leave the homeworld to Chanka. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. 
Fury is my choice, not a sickness. <laughs> ah, okay. Hier hebben we nog met Kara, Samara en Fane. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. If you happen to find any of those supplies on the list I gave you, it would be much appreciated. Otherwise, I'm doing fine. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Ah, oké, okay, die had niet echt. Dus de main battery moet even openen. Karis, hallo. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sedonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sedonis was seen with him. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Kijk eens aan. Ik vind het ook best wel belangrijk om het team te helpen. Ik bedoel... Het is toch in principe ons team. Ik moet het met hun doen. Oh wow. Hallo. Shepard, I mentioned when we met on Ilian that I was dying. It's called Kepril syndrome. It's not communicable, but I have less than a year to live. Are you feeling sick? I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. Well, that's not the choice I expected. Why didn't you raise him yourself? My body is blessed with the skills to take life. The Hanar honed them in me. I have few others. I didn't want that life for Kolya. I hoped he would find his own way. If he hated me, so be it. He would not have shared the path of sin. I used my contacts to trace Kolya. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. Well, what's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is. This is not a path he should walk. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. Okay, then we'll talk to my Samara. Oh, this can. The men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. Oh yeah, that's says you can do that. Oh, hello. I'm glad I joined your team. It has been too long since I traveled with companions. When the time comes, I will do whatever is necessary. You're an important part of this crew, Samara. It is my honor. Also, there is a matter I need to discuss. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morin. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours. Burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. 
She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, made it with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find more. Oké. Okay. Maar dat was het toch voor deze keer. Ik ga alleen nog even naar. De elevator ga ik alleen nog even naar het juiste dek. Dus de Combat Information Center. Holy shit. Prachtige naam. En dan, beste kijkers, je is simpel. Tot de volgende keer.